Accidentals are used to create pitches that are not in the key signature or to change other accidentals that happened earlier in the bar. Accidentals remain in effect for the duration of the bar. In other words, until after the next bar line. Now what we usually see is the natural, the sharp, and the flat. This is what you're going to see most of the time. But there are times when the double flat and the double sharp are needed. Let's look at the first one here, the natural. This means the note is played and not altered and would remove any expected sharp or flat. So in this case, if you had a key signature that had a C sharp in it and you needed a C natural, you would just place this natural sign in front of it and that would remove the sharp. A sharp raises the pitch by one half step. What's a half step, you ask? If you take a look at the piano keyboard, let's take a look at this C. A half step is the next key up or down from the note. So if we were on this C and we wanted to go one half step up, this would be the next note. If I were on C and we wanted to go one half step down, this would be the next note. So we have a C and what we are looking at here is a C sharp. So if we go to the C natural and we raise that by one half step, C sharp. A flat lowers the pitch by one half step. So if we start on this C, we're going to lower that by one half step. This would be a C flat. A double flat lowers the pitch by one whole step. A whole step is made from two half steps. So if we wanted to go one whole step down from C, we would go down two half steps. Remember, a half step is the next note up or down. We go down one, two. That's a whole step. If we start on C and go up a whole step, we would go two half steps up. One, two. That's a whole step above C. So this example here, we see something that says C double flat. So we would start on the C and we would go down one whole step, which is the same as two half steps. And lastly, the double sharp. The double sharp raises the pitch by one whole step. So if we started on C and wanted to play C double sharp, we would go up two half steps. This would be a C double sharp. Let's get the manuscript paper out again and let's learn how to write these accidentals. Put two treble clefs on it. I already have one, so I'll draw one down here. Next, count up one, two, three spaces. Now write five whole notes. Space them out and give yourself plenty of room right in front of them. Make a little egg shape, kind of like that. First, we're going to make the natural. You are going to want to make two lines. Two straight lines up and down. One that ends at the bottom of the note, and another one that starts at the top of the note. At an angle, make two lines. That's a natural. Next, we're going to make a sharp. Just start with two lines like we did before, but they will both be about the same size, but the second one will be a little higher than the first one. Make two lines that overlap, both at an angle. Next, we have a flat. A flat is like drawing a small letter B and place it right in front of the note. That's a flat. We have the double flat, which is just two small Bs. It's best to go backwards. That way you know you have plenty of space. So we make two flats, and that's a double flat. And lastly, the one we have here is the double sharp. On the double sharp, you can just use an X. All right, let's do this one more time. Let's go down to the next line where you have another treble clef. Make five more kind of ovalish looking notes, just like that. Once again, let's go over here. Let's do our natural. I'm going to make two lines that are at an angle connecting the two. Natural. 
Next, we will make a sharp, which looks like a hashtag. Next, let's do the flat. We can make a lowercase b. Double flat. We're going to put two lowercase b's working backwards so we know we have plenty of room. Lastly, when we are making a double sharp, you put in an x. That's how to write accidentals.